to Miss Courtney. She's not in the office. Oh, thank God. Uh, Mr. Brown, Mr. Nadine, did you wish to see me? No. Oh, yes, please. This is for you. Thank you. <laughs> I want another word with you, Mr. Brown. Come into the office. Close the door. I'll just see what this letter is first. Oh, I shouldn't bother if I were you. You never know where it's been. It could be full of jokes. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I seem to recognise this writing. It looks remarkably like yours, Mr Brown. Oh, it's nothing like mine. It just looks like mine. Oh, well, I better admit. it. Uh, I think I'll go. I haven't finished with you yet. You will have when you've read that letter. I beg your pardon. Nothing. Good heavens. <coughs> Miss Courtney. I have never read anything like this in my life. I can explain. Just listen to this. I'd rather not. <laughs> Dear Miss... I am writing to tell you of my feelings for you. You see, I thought I'd won a... Pardon? <laughs> I want to hold you in my arms and kiss you. <laughs> you did write this letter, Mr. Brown. Ah, oh, yeah, well, not to you. But I you, mean, the, the... the letter you were writing for that Hungarian student. Yes, you see, what must yes, have happened? You don't need to go on. I mean, it's obvious he's been smitten by my charm and beauty. <laughs> Pardon? I have told you before, Mr. Brown, that I do have this strange fascination for the opposite sex. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> you may not believe this, Mr. Brown, but when I was a young girl, I was very plain. <laughs> uh, cup of tea, please, Curtis. Everything hockey, Mr. Brown. Yes, I must have put Zoltan's letter to his girlfriend in my envelope to Miss Courtney. Hey, he's not going to be very happy. Why not? He's just gone to give the letter you write to Miss Courtney to his girlfriend. Oh. Good. Oh. <laughs> 